This video discusses a more advanced concept on JavaScript charts and it discusses how you can create custom event handlers for a, a tooltip event. So you can see that we have a chart over here and uh, the bar chart has uh, tooltips for each of the bars. So when I tap on this bar over here I'm going to get basically uh, tooltips and the tooltips have been customized so you can see that when I tap on one of the green bars the tooltip has a green border when I tap on one of the red bars, or one of the blue bars, the tooltip has a blue border and then when I tap over there the tooltip has a green border. But watch what happens after I resize the chart. So I'm going to go there and resize the chart and now when I tap on these um, uh, bars I'm no longer getting the behavior that I got before. So let's go now behind the scenes and see what was going on here. So I'm going to go now to re uh, back to design mode and then let's open up this chart in uh, the builder and if we look at the chart JavaScript we can see that um, when the chart itself is rendered which is uh, this line over here the chart is rendered using the wave uh, draw method and then we're uh, calling the on method of this chart object and we're saying that on tooltip call this function over here so this function uh, on tooltip is defined over here so the the um, on tooltip function gets bound to the tooltip event using this function at the time the chart is drawn. Then you can see in addition we're setting some properties here for the tooltips. We're specifying what the tooltip uh, color and CSS uh, should look like. So what happens when you uh, resize the chart is the chart gets redrawn uh, completely. So the chart now when I go here and hit resize the chart is being redrawn and after it's redrawn the uh, tooltip um, event handler is not being bound to the tooltip event so that's why I'm getting now the default behavior for tooltips so in order to solve that problem what, what we've done is we've taken the code that is being executed uh, when the chart is initially rendered um, this which is this function over here and this, um, these uh, CSS settings over there and we've put them in a function over here called reset event. So over here in reset event you can see what we're doing is we're getting a pointer to the chart control but you can see that the pointer that we get back is actually an array of pointers and the reason it's an array of pointers is that a chart can be made up of multiple subcharts and in this particular case this chart is only one uh, there's, there's only one subchart so we only so we need to get the first value in the array so now we have a pointer to the chart that was just uh, redrawn here's the function that we would like to bind to the on tooltip event here we go ahead and we actually bind this function now to the on to the tooltip event and we go ahead here and we uh, set those um, values for the tooltip uh, itself so now let's go ahead and run this so you can see now when I basically click there um, all of the tooltips are properly styled I go ahead now and resize it the tooltips are not properly styled I run the event now to rebind uh, the tooltip event and now basically the tooltips are uh, styled again as we uh, 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 wanted. So basically what's going on here behind the scenes is that when the chart is rendered uh, we are binding uh, the tooltip event and then when the chart gets resized it's necessary for us to rebind the event because the, the way in which the chart is resized is that the chart is redrawn from scratch. Thanks very much for watching.